Hi, Eagle fans. Wow, fantastic news from Tuesday, February 15th. Liberty laid her third egg, and she is just one incredible eagle. This longer video I have put together to document the entire process of laying the egg and the care that Liberty provided to all three eggs after she laid the third. I will be providing less commentary on this video regarding the actual laying of the egg and if you want to have more commentary and educational information about laying the egg, then I'll refer you to the video that I made about the entire process of Liberty laying her first egg. My commentary on this video will be intermittent on an as needed and purposeful basis. You can see in the clips that have run so far in this video that Liberty has been uh, rotating around in the nest. She has exposed her eggs. She tends to aerate the nest material, which is uh, digging into the nest material. Uh, each time she digs, she makes it finer. And when she aerates it, it makes it uh, fluffier and softer for the eggs. After a period here before she lays uh, here at 1604, which in 24 hour clock time is 404, she's still fairly common. Um, I don't know, you wouldn't really think that labor was on the way. She doesn't necessarily give that indication by her demeanor or her bodily actions. Here Liberty is just three minutes from laying her third egg. We finally see her arch her back and to perhaps start bearing down to push. We see the feathers on her back are ruffled and that her back is arched. Now watch her tail at times. It will do a very quick sort of twitch or flick. So her feathers are ruffled and her body is puffed up. She's in contractions apparently here. There was a tail flick. Liberty's wings, she has taken them out from her body slightly. And now 
Look at the feathers on her back are highly ruffled. We're less than a minute from the egg being laid. She steps back and forth, shifting her weight from foot to foot and leg to leg. And somewhere right in there was when she laid the egg. Now we won't get to see it for quite a while, uh, clock time, but I will take you to that here shortly. Liberty stood over the eggs here, allowing that third egg to cool for a short amount of time. And here we'll finally get to see Liberty reveal that third egg for the first time. This is about 16 minutes after it was laid. She rolls them. And then she's immediately in an incubation position. Later on you'll see that she was off and on allowing them to cool a little bit and in an incubation position. But for the most part you will see that Liberty is quite tired which is understandable after this period of laying eggs over the last uh, six days. We will note that she's been very tired, but this is a regular occurrence here, what you'll see. That is what is known colloquially as a crop drop, which is an action which moves food from a bird's crop, which is a kind of a pouch in their lower throat area, to drop into their stomach. So I've seen her do that many times after laying an egg. So I think Mama is tired. She needs nourishment. So she's getting the rest and the food she needs.
so we will see Guardian come in here, I believe about 43 or 44 minutes after the third egg was laid. And from the orientation of where Liberty's head and tail are, I don't think that he can necessarily see all three eggs, if any. Now, she kind of looks like she has her back rolled to us, but I don't think that's her back. I think that is her right wing. Our guardian has been a fantastic provider. His first full year, they raised one eaglet. His second year, last season, they raised three. And once he see they already have three, he might start freaking out a little bit, thinking they're going to have six this year. You've got this covered, Guardian. You're absolutely awesome. And you've got a fantastic mama for your mate. She is the epic liberty. So we just jumped a couple of minutes there in that hard cut and Liberty didn't want, did not want to get up off the eggs. And we see Guardian take off there. Guardian was back to the nest at 6.12 p.m. Liberty did not want to get off the eggs. I'm sure if she had, he would have readily taken a position up on the eggs. So Guardian passed through the nest, moved up onto the camera branch, it's actually a branch next to the camera. And there's Guardian up on that position where the birds sometimes roost. What will be interesting here 
is that the wind is blowing quite hard out of the north, which right now is from Guardian's left. And birds prefer to roost facing into the wind. And you can think of their feathers. They are far more aerodynamic, which would be less resistance if they're roosting or sleeping facing the wind. And right now, Guardian can't really get a position facing the wind. And we will see him take a few bunny hops over to a roost, which is new to me and which may be new to your camera operators as well. They did a great job following Guardian here to find that new roost. So let me show you their work when he takes off. Now, I don't think this was haphazard. I think Guardian knew where he was going, but it just takes a few bunny hops, if you will. There he moves to one preliminary branch, but it does not appear sturdy enough to be a roost. So he'll make a second bunny hop going to where he wants to go. There's his second bunny hop. Now he's not quite on the roost he wants to get to yet. And he will make a third bunny hop to that branch, which is much sturdier. There he goes. And that particular branch, to me, has the appearance of being a roost that is often used even though we didn't know it it is faced approximately uh, well he is facing one of two directions he can either face southeast or northwest and if and when he turns now he's facing northwest which is more into the wind than he was on that other branch. And this branch is, uh, I think, definitely attached to the nest tree. It's not uh, swaying significantly different than the camera is. And it's a big enough branch that offers some stability for roosting. Anyway, we are all so blessed to have uh, Guardian and Liberty and the opportunity to watch them. Let me thank everybody who is a part of this endeavor. Um, let me thank all of the team members of the Friends of the Red and Eagles, you, the viewers and the fans, um, our chat moderators, camera operators. Um, I don't know if I forget if I've forgotten anyone. I apologize, but thank you all for watching. This has always been a pleasure and a privilege. Be safe and be well.